Today I'm going to talk about a tool that's called develop. This is going to take these curves and wrap it around this surface. And I'm not going to get into every detail of this uh, feature. It's uh, very big and there's a lot of options. I'm just going to talk about the basics as it is today. So when I select develop, uh, where to develop, basically what curves am I going to develop or wrap around and it's going to be this joint. Now mind you, you can pick several elements. I like to group things in with a join. That way if I need to make a modification to what's being developed, I just simply modify the join. I'll show you that in a bit. Now I pick the surface that I want to develop to <clears throat> and preview. Just that simple. Now these development methods are, if you're using, in this case, maybe not a non-canonic surface. So how, depending on what the surface looks like in that shape, you may want to try some of these different options because this is a truly cylindrical shape. Then uh, as it stands, these are all going to look exactly the same to the original. So if you're using a non-cylindrical shape, you can play around to get different uh, shapes of those curves as they wrap around those surfaces. Now I'm going to select OK. I get my multi-result management. I want to keep all the elements and select OK. And there is my develop. Now, as I said earlier, because I use this join, if I come into the join and I remove, let's say clear the selection of one of these, you'll notice that the develop automatically updates. So if I double click on the join and add that back in, my develop again automatically updates. So it's pretty straightforward, relatively simple tool um, and uh, again, you're just taking curves, wrapping them around a cylinder. Now, if you wanted to, uh, again, experiment and play around with, you can use, again, different shape surfaces and um, some of these other options that I just don't have a lot of time to get into at the moment.